Hi everybody, this is Sue Altmeyer. I'm a librarian here at the University of Akron Law Library and I'm going to talk to you today about transactional forms. So the forms that you find on Lexis, Wessel, Bloomberg, etc., they're just a starting point. You have to tailor them to your own fact situation and you have to make sure that the particular form is not out of date as far as the law is concerned. You, know, you might think that these forms, just because they're on Lexis, Wessel, and their computerized services, they're going to be out of date. Well, Lexis and Westlaw try, but sometimes new developments in the law come along and the form is just, just not up to date. And I guess as a reminder here, we have our kid from Saved by the Bell looking very 80s on out of date. So make sure your form is not out of date. All right, so forms started out their lives as books uh, before they went on to Lexis, Westlaw, Bloomberg, and whatever platform they are on. This, for example, is a set of books called Amger Legal Forms. It's one of the uh, more famous, popular sets. It is on Westlaw, uh, like the like American Jurisprudence, the legal encyclopedia. It is arranged alphabetically. It's helpful to know this because when you go on Lexis and Westlaw, you can then, in fact, look at these different form sets and drill down by the different uh, topics and find the form you want is an alternative to doing your term search. Okay, and here I did just that. I went in to find just some general will forms. Okay, so West Legal Forms is another large form set. It is on Westlaw, as you can imagine. And Rabkin and Johnson, Current Legal Forms with Tax Analysis, that is the large transactional form set that is on Lexis. Notice I say transactional form set. Most of these form sets are divided into transactional, meaning, you know, wills, contracts, things like that, versus litigation forms. Okay, so here we have Rabkin and Johnson, current legal forms with tax analysis. The tax analysis, of course, can be very helpful uh, when you're doing a transaction. It's kind of a unique feature to that particular form set. Besides those uh, large form sets that I just mentioned, there are smaller form sets that maybe deal with only one type of law or deal with one state in particular. And here we have, for example, this is actually a treatise, Merrick Ripner Probate Law uh, for Ohio. It's a very well-known set. You should know about it if you're going to do any type of wills or estates or anything like that in Ohio. And this contains narrative text as well as forms. Okay, so when you search the form finders on Lexis and Westlaw, which we're going to do in another video, what are you searching? You're searching these form sets like we just saw. Uh, these form sets contain checklists. Uh, checklists can tell you the steps in putting a transaction together. For example, the steps in uh, creating a corporation. The checklist can tell you what should be contained within the document that you're drafting. Or it can, checklists can even give you uh, questions that you should ask your client. Say you're writing a will for a client, and here's a list of questions you should ask your client before you write the will. All right, and there's also individual clauses besides the whole forms in case you're just looking for individual clauses. Another thing that form finders can contain is statutes. It sounds kind of odd, but some uh, forms, some legal documents, the language of them is dictated by statute. The most common example being deeds. In most states, a lot of states, you can look at the state uh, codes and find forms for the various types of deeds, quick claim deeds, uh, general warranty deed, etc. All right, so here's just a screenshot showing you that you, in fact, get uh, forms as well as checklists on your, um, this is, happens to be Ohio Forms Legal and Business on Westlaw. And this is just a screenshot from Merrick Ripner on Westlaw. And it actually has language on here saying that this form is based on a hypothetical situation and you need to do your own work based on your own fact situation, basically. So our next video is going to be about finding forms on Westlaw.